from ABC News, live in Times Square, Friday, January 17th, 2014. This is Good Morning America. Right now, we know that real women have curves, we have wrinkles, we have stretch marks. Now you'll be able to see those imperfections in new ads from American Eagle. The retailer is launching the campaign for its popular teen brand. Um, it's called Airy, and ABC's Juju Chang is here to give us an exclusive first look. Juju, what's this all about? Well, hey, Lara, I'm going to be kind, as you just said, and all due respect to those buxom, giraffe-like supermodels who are nice enough to model lingerie for us, but they bear very little resemblance to the majority of women in this country. So what impact might seeing more realistic women have when we're shopping for intimates? Real women, real curves, and real blemishes. Front and center in American Eagle's new airy real movement. The Intimates line kicking off their spring collection by showing real women of all sizes, airbrush free. We've left everything. We've left beauty marks, we've left tattoos. What you see is really what you get with our campaign. But will real women help sell bras? What's the importance of being real? Why is that a, why is that a selling point? It's a selling point because our customers represent this great demographic and they don't really get to see what girls their age really look like. Because Airy caters to young clients, they feature bra specialists to help achieve the perfect fit. If you'd rather shop online, women can now see the bra they like fit on a model with a similar body type and cup size. That's great, because a different bra looks different on a different of size course. woman, so that's a D cup, this right? This is our D, and if you were to see a size A girl wearing the Ella Gel push-up, it's a total different look. Two very different women. Absolutely. Yeah, with two very different needs. Mm -hmm. These women help customers visualize the bras on their own bodies. They are still models, they're still gorgeous. They just look a little bit more like the rest of us. Yes, I mean, they work as models. The difference is these girls would never be cast as lingerie models. They're not supermodels. A new notion in lingerie marketing where busty, super skinny supermodels always reign supreme. The difference between the Airy Real campaign and, for instance, a Victoria's Secret campaign is that Victoria's Secret completely airbrush out every single blemish or stretch mark. For the longest times, it seemed that models were getting skinnier and mm -hmm. skinnier and more and more cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. But you're breaking that cookie cutter. We're hoping to break the mold, and we hope that by embracing this, that real girls everywhere will start to embrace their own beauty. Appealing to real women a growing trend in advertising from Dove's Real Beauty campaign to Pantene's Shine Strong commercials, shining a light on sexism in the workplace. Hopefully this is a new age in advertising for female empowerment. And here's one factoid. One retail survey of 16,000 customers found that the average bra size in this country went from a B cup to a double D in just over past 20 years. And they suggest expanding waistlines and implants may explain that change. But whether you're that B or that double D, now you can visualize yourself better in these bras. All and right, that's great. Josh's radio face. silence. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, All right, I'll save you, Josh. Yeah.